So guys, what's going on? Brandon Hyden here, hope you're having a great day. Today is a very special day for one reason and one reason only. But I'm not gonna explain it all right now. I just want you to sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and watch what is almost a decade of work unravel into something which I think is really freaking cool. And I hope you also think it is too. Alright guys, my name is Brandon Harden and this is my very delayed intro to starting this channel. It's going to be everything that you guys need to help you reach your dream physique. It's about 5 o'clock on a Sunday evening and we're just editing some YouTube videos, putting the final touches on the video that I'm going to be uploading tonight. 9 o'clock at night, <laughs> going to get back, prep my meals for tomorrow. I'm working at the gym 2 o'clock until 9 o'clock because I'm 19 on the 5th of January so. And then this is my beautiful car. I'm taking my test in February, I just need to wait to get paid again. I need to think that this whole finish journey literally started with this bar. But this is what happened. We're fine, I'm not injured. <sighs> Just gotta get it fixed. The front of her car. And then when I was at the point of no return, like I didn't see this even come, it just hit the side of me. Again, side of my car. It's seven o'clock in the morning. My car's been crashed into now, two times in two weeks. But this time, shit, man. Oh my day. We're looking fresh. Electric windows oh. are here. We're in the car. This is the coolest thing ever. All right, so here it is. This is the car that I bought. It has like the front bumper, the black side skirt to the bottom. I'm just happy. I'm really thankful. I wouldn't have been able to go through all those things that have happened and come out on the other side and still be in a position to be able to come home and, and buy this and own it. Like this is mine and I'm so proud of it and I love it for everyone that's ever like liked my stuff or shared it or, or, or used my code. Life's crazy. It's not even like I've like had like an easy run to like come to try and achieve any kind of success. Like it's been hard as fuck. Just work for it. It's worth it. I promise it's worth it. It so is. This is like this is my dream car. This is literally the fastest thing I have ever felt in my entire life. Oh my god. No 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 no. I've actually got like my hairs are stood up. I just can't even like can you believe this? <laughs> what is happening? Oh my. What is happening? What? Should we get a pump on first? Should we get a pump? Mate. I can do three press ups. Let's see your front double bicep. Mate. I'm 49, look That's at that not, bad boy. You know what? It's actually not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> not too bad. No, just not A little bit. Only a little bit. Take Natty. I can look and do press ups. I'll just knock him out. Alright, there we go. Oh, hang on. Oh, shit. <laughs> I've gone so red. <laughs> Come to Topaz Midlands for a workout. Yeah, I'm done now. I'm going home. The question I had is just because these parts are plastic. So, options are, so you're having carbon PPF. I Could mean, do I, them carbon. I'd carbon it. That would be epic. That would be disgusting, actually. <laughs> and leave that black. But what I'm thinking is, why don't we do these in carbon, see how that looks. And if you think leave it black, leave it, or we go carbon there. This will obviously be satin. Would that be satin or just gloss? C is for carbon. So the pods cut, they'll look really good. So the rule of thumb is the big panels, we're going to go satin. Yes. Because that's the visual impact. When it comes to the front end, you could actively make that into a carbon splitter. All down here. So if we go this way, you've got the choice of doing that carbon or leave that black or satin. Carbon. Okay, here he is. Oh, you met Pre before. How you doing? I don't think we have to. No, this is Pre, my business partner. How you doing? We're doing presses. Well, that's what I've got. Yeah, yeah, we're doing presses. Put your arms out, mate. That's why I'm not. What do you think? How do you get middle vein? Everyone's juiced here. He said he was quite don't, impressed. Please, don't. We'll remove the badges. We'll template where they were, because obviously we want the PPF to go under these. Yep. We will not fit around them. It'll look awful. The whole car needs to decontaminate. The better we make this look before we put PPF on, the better. The better. We're thinking about doing the rear diffuser. Considering this car has such immaculate paneling and separation between parts that look like they could be carbon, we're going to carbon those and then the majority of the vehicle, like 90% of it, will be satin. But there are very specific parts that you just like, that absolutely would work. I can't wait. I'm absolutely buzzing. This is crazy. Honestly, and I'm half tempted to not show you anything while we're doing it. I can't believe how real it looks. It's phenomenal. I'm 27 now, but when I was like 19, I saw some cars wrapped in carbon and it just looked really bad yeah. but now technology and what you guys are doing is so far more advanced look at the depth of that people are now saying 3d very very will you show me will you show the vlog yeah yeah come on have a look ben likes to go to the gym and he likes to tell everyone <laughs> <laughs> Ferrari 812 Competizione and the reason I want to show you this car in particular well the whole engine bay is made of carbon and it's signed by all the important people and we're mid PPF as well this and they've been lacquered over as well so they're safe oh my god the entire freaking engine bay is carbon what the 
the... Sorry, mate. So it's all about the prep work. Oh, well, you don't get the best finish. Look at the metallic fleck in that. Such a deep metallic. When the sun hits it, or the light... Oh my God, it's like a star. That one you will not see in the road until possibly it... September. People walk in and see that. Yeah. Comparison cars, aren't they? If you've got a problem, my bodyguards will sort you out. I'm an well, apprentice. Whatever they want. It's not just about PPF. We want to make sure this car is absolutely pristine before we put on one inch of PPF. Swell removal, detail on steroids. <laughs> exactly right. Feel it, you can feel it's a little bit rough. Technically, we're taking it back to a new car finish. And that is exactly how you sell it to a customer. <laughs> The overall goal is to find yourself, to find the person that you want to be and to find the person that who you want to portray yourself as, what mark do you want to leave behind. We're all on the same journey together. If you have a dream, a business idea, some idea that you've been thinking about doing, just honestly just do it. It's hard but you need to eliminate the things that are holding you back. Friends that are telling you that it's not going to work, maybe a girlfriend that you're arguing with, having the right mindset to completing the goal that you want to achieve. It's times like this that made me wish my driving test would just hurry up. People ask me in the street while I'm holding the camera. I have found my meaning and I have put my heart, my soul, I go to sleep at four in the morning. I can't wait to bust my test purely for the reason. New car vlogs. Outside world would be like, just make it more interesting, you know. I passed my test. Yep. Yeah. There you went. I took it, to I took it today. What the fuck? <laughs> Serious? That's mad. Well done, I'm passing your test, man. It's about time. And for a first car, this is incredible. Like, I'm so grateful for it. There you call it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're back home now. We just dropped off the car. I think it's either going to take five, six, seven, or eight days. They're going to update me as the process goes on. But I want them to do the best job that they can, obviously. And this kind of thing can't be rushed. So I'll get it back when I get it back. But it's either going to be Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday next week. And I can't freaking wait. So. The date is, I can't tell you because my phone's dead. It's Friday, the 19th. It has been a total of eight days since I dropped the car off. We're back at Topaz Midlands. The entrance is just around the corner of this side. Usually the back entrance that we came in before was that side. It's finished. I've been like drip fed little bits here and there, like over the course of like the changes that have been made. Can't wait to see it. We went a little bit more overboard than we originally planned. We actually ended up leaving a lot less gloss black and just carboning the whole thing out, not the whole car, obviously. So imagine that like a whole carbon R8. It would look kind of ridiculous to be honest. Whatever they've done, I'm sure it's absolutely fantastic. We're gonna go in right now. I said I was gonna be here at 9.30, it's currently 9.32. We're gonna walk in the front and see what they've done. God damn, god damn, god. What a nice day as well. I'm not being funny, but the weather in the UK right now, it is gleaming. To drive all the way back through this beautiful morning weather is just gonna be an absolute dream, like blue skies. And apparently it's gonna be 27 degrees today, which is unheard of. And obviously in the UK, being 27 degrees, it's gonna be more like 30 fucking two. One thing you'll always expect at Topaz is incredible cars. Maybe cars one day that we'll be able to afford. Maybe, who knows? It says press for reception. Going on. What's going on, mate? Sorry, I don't know what's going on. So, we're currently in the waiting area. I don't know what they're doing. They were just like, we'll be five minutes. There's a few cars around, obviously, my car. Different people pick up different cars on different days, obviously, but they did say Friday. Today is the busiest day. We need to be patient. The snack van for the place just arrived. That's probably why they said five minutes, because all the staff just like went outside for a cheeky little burger. A UK snack van that goes to workplaces is very iconic. Like, I remember working at my stepdad's factory. So, I worked there for a year and a half before I got sacked for going on my phone too much. I was trying to do Instagram. Instagram. And Clive, uh, the guy that owns my stepdad's business with him 50-50, was like this stupid millennial, never going to be anything in life, doesn't know anything about anything. Obviously, when I was at the factory, I did work very hard. I literally used to have no fingerprints. I used to be a pattern maker. I would sand down panels that were like duplicate panels for buses, different stuff, carbon fiber stuff, all this sort of stuff. When I'm driving around London and I see bus panels and different things, I'm like, I know how to make that. I know how to make that. I kind of love that I did this for a year and a half of my life. But towards the end of it, knew what I wanted to do in life. Life, I was like, I want to do social media. I don't know how it's going to work. Don't know what it's going to become. I started spending loads of time on Instagram, collabing, messaging, trying to post, edit stuff, make sure I was showing up all day, every day, just like being relentless with it, even when I wasn't meant to be doing it. And it obviously resulted nine years later in something like getting a freaking Audi R8 customized. Are you shitting me? This is freaking crazy. But back to the whole snack van. When I was uh, trying to gain muscle in the beginning of bodybuilding, because obviously I started working at my stepdad's factory when I was 17 until 19, this was the period of time where I was just trying to eat literally everything. My, my metabolism was through the roof. So they would do like fried chicken breasts, like not like a little slather of chicken. This was a whole breast. And on days where I wanted to be lean, I would pick the batter off and just eat two breasts with whatever else I had that my mom made me or 
I made for work. But yeah, UK snack vans, pretty iconic. The ones that are the best though, are the ones that do like the fried breakfast sandwiches that are on the side of like highways and stuff, because they fill that up. I swear you could put 2,000 calories in one sandwich. Right. Game time. Time's come. Dun, dun, dun. It's the cover door of excitement. It is indeed. The tension's building. Some beauties on the wall. You've got a glory path as well, look. Some guy on the screen now as well, look. Freaking for the YouTube video, really. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it is? I haven't got a clue. Oh my days, man. Some so of these wrapped cars. it in a cloth. Looks good, doesn't it? It's a proper reveal. This is like a proper handover. Like they've got the thing wrapped in a cloth. Apparently you press a little button. You press this button. GT3 RS. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah. I don't know if you'd fit in that. I probably wouldn't. We'd have to take the door cards off. And it moves as well. It's actually mechanical. It does. I know it's about 400, 500 grand. It's the ultimate track car. Yeah. This is not what we're here for today. No, we're not. We're this here. Is, to... This is irrelevant. Yeah, yeah. Irrelevant. We're here to dream. It's obviously come good to come here and like see goals and see these things that people have one day. And it's also proof. The tattoo I've got. Somebody has to do it. So why not you? If someone's got this thing you want, someone built that skyscraper. Someone owns that company. Like if they did it, why can't you do it? Sort of thing. My emulation of that is my dream car, which is an Audi R8 that we're about to see what the hell Topaz have done. Where's your Topaz tattoo? We'll do it before you go, don't I'll worry. Do my forehead. Let me just take, make sure the machine is on. That's pretty smart. I'm not showing you anything yet. You can do it. On just that ho bottom one. Hold it down. Your finger on it. In three, two, one. <clears throat> This is cool as shit. Oh my days. What a gadget. No way. What the f This looks so much better in person. This is <laughs> actually crazy. I like kept it going. I couldn't take my finger off the thing. It's perfect. Bro, look at it for a sec. Oh my God. I like it. If it wasn't already awesome. It's really good. Do you know what the, the funny thing insane. about? It just brings out the body line. The individual details. This much carbon is just pure testosterone. My God. So it's all pre-cut. The detail, man. Like mm. I'm stressed out as wearing a white t-shirt on the floor. Impeccable. I love the way it feels as well. Not just the way it looks. Don't get it dirty. Get your mitts off it. What are you talking about? <laughs> On a car, when you've got carbon PPF and authentic carbon, the one thing that needs to happen is like it needs to be like the same weave, same like sort of like grayness, because obviously carbon's got like a black gray accent to it. But it's the same thing. It's the same freaking thing. If you ever sell this car and they don't like it, it can be reversed. Who wouldn't like it? That's my whole point. Who wouldn't? Oh, the black fuel cap is sick. Yes. Okay, no, yeah, I like yeah. it. I, like. I wonder why you thought you might not like it. I think that looks absolutely bang on. The fuel cap used to be silver. It's gloss black because the wheels are gloss black. Now it looks like just a one clean bullet. I like astounded. I'm astounded. I'm absolutely astounded. It's obviously sticky, as you appreciate. So, so we're going to try and tear this right now. Should Give I? it a tear. You're on the old yellow pages. You've got to get the arms in, man. Yeah, the arms are in it. Come though. on. Right. What the fuck? That is strong. What the fuck? Okay. That's the one. I'm absolutely astounded. This thing, obviously R8s look relatively expensive. I just said to Stu, like obviously it looks like it's worth a hundred thousand pound, but now it looks like it's worth 200,000 pound. It turned heads before, but now it's turning my head every freaking second. Like I am very grateful. As I literally said earlier, like going from working in my stepdad's factory, earning six pound 50 an hour after previously being on an apprenticeship at four pound 50 an hour, doing plumbing in London and Manchester and all over the place. And just having this dream, having this goal of what I wanted to do in my life and with my life and the fact that now we have hard body it's almost four years in now and it's going incredibly well We're running a coaching business that is going absolutely fantastic with all the new clients over the course of the journey we have picked up some of the best sponsors in the entire world Alphalete have been with me since day one i've been working with Alphalete now for about six years huge supplements we're about a year and a half now and obviously i work regularly with legend london and blue man and all these pieces to the puzzle have accumulated and compounded over time to allow me to reinvest into my own business save reinvest and obviously have my own team we got the right hand man over here. We got Stuart, Stuart O'Neill. Obviously he helps with an abundance of different stuff. I've got a website girl called Krista, a meta guy called Zach, a fulfillment guy called Jordan. Like the team is growing and it's absolutely, and now a new photographer called Harry. He's an absolute legend. The team's growing and doing things like this. Like a car is a very materialistic item. It's not a representation of who you are as a person. For me, it's a staple. It's something to look outside at every single day as a reminder of what you've done, where you've come from, and how you need to continue to work hard every single day so you never get lazy you never slow down and you're always hungry for exactly what the initial goal was in the beginning which is just creating something out of nothing and taking it as far as you can So we are back. 
at the place. And I've got a few things to show you to end the video because Topaz were absolutely incredible. It was so, so kind and they actually made me a custom piece while giving me a gift bag to keep the car clean, which I'll show you in a second. But it's the little things that matter, I feel like, to anyone, especially me. Certificate of craftsmanship prepared with pride, love, and care for Brandon Harding. Audi R8. They even put the freaking hard body logo there. Like, that is nuts. And I took a cheeky picture of the car all wrapped. It's pretty special because obviously I've never got a car PPF or wrapped or anything before, and especially because of the fact that this has literally been my dream car, as you know now by the video you just watched. For the last, I don't even know how long, 10 years. I'm 27 years old now. Ever since I was 17, I've been thinking about this car. I'm lucky enough to now have had two of them. You saw the video of the Y1 that I got, gave it back because life circumstances changed. After returning back to the UK, I decided to get my dream car again, and now it couldn't be any more perfect. It's funny how the two times you've been in the UK, you've had two R8s, I know, right? which means, I guess it's meant to be that you're here. I was meant to be in the UK, always. Now for the goodie bag. Topaz kind of gave me an incredible, it's, this is literally leather, don't know what it is. I think it's fake leather, but it's really, really nice. This is what it is. It's a full cleaning kit of their products. I'm gonna flip it around. Pretty awesome, because it literally covers all bases of what you would need. So, right here we have wheel cleaner, glass cleaner, interior cleaner, luxury shampoo, quick detail, and a tire dress. Inside the zip, we've got all the like the squirty like tops of the bottles, because this essentially attaches to this. They even gave us some clean mittens. These are obviously for different things. One's a microfiber cloth, one's for outside of the car. It's all multi-purpose. You can actually get this at Topaz, I'm pretty sure on their website too. Code Hardbody will get you a bit of a discount of anything on the Topaz store as well. I'm not sure how much discount, but it will save you if you do want to get some cleaning products for your car. And that is going to be it for a very, very special video. This video has been a flashback to the past from the beginning days of YouTube, from literally like the start of the journey all the way through different chapters of time with the same goal in mind and never, ever, ever lost focus. And if you want to do something with your life, you can never lose focus. I said it before, but a car is a materialistic thing, but it's a representative of work and a reminder as to why you started and why you shall continue until the day you've had enough. Drove it back, catching it in reflections and just parking it downstairs, seeing it, seeing this incredible machine that I get to be proud of every single day. A wonderful feeling and I urge you to work so hard in life. It might not be a car, it might be a quality of life, it might be a home to live in, it might be a watch on your wrist, it doesn't matter what it is. You don't need to explain it to anyone else why it's your thing and your goal and your dream. Just do whatever you can to achieve it. And I promise, I freaking promise, it's worth it. So guys, that's gonna be it for the video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, turn on post notifications, and subscribe, because it really helps the channel grow. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.